Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. So now Manny Pacquiao has brought up Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence's name, saying that he still uh, is interested in fighting him. Well, what's taking you so long, Manny? Um, You know, at the end of the day, it come a time where people and fans of people, they have to accept their guy for who he is. At the end of the day, Manny Pacquiao could have fought Terrence Crawford two years ago. He could have fought Errol Spence two years ago, and he elected not to. And Manny Pacquiao is 42 years old. At the end of the day, the clock is ticking. Now, he could beat Ryan Garcia due to the fact that Ryan Garcia don't have the experience, but Errol Spence... And Terrence Crawford been doing this for a while. They've been doing this for a while. So. You have to be like. Okay. This is just name dropping. This is just cloud chasing. This is whatever you want to call it. And as far as the Manny Pacquiao fans go. They can't keep hiding behind this shit about. Oh well he fought Keith Thurman. And this dude didn't. Don't bring up nobody else's name because, once again, I'm not going for that no more on my channel. None of this. You bringing up somebody else. You trying to de uh, deflect the topic at hand who I'm talking about. From now on, anybody come on here doing that shit, I'm blocking your ass. You going to stick to the subject. I don't want to hear about, well, um, you know, Floyd didn't do this or the same thing with Canelo. Well, this dude didn't do this. If you can't stick to the fucking subject matter, your ass ain't going to be here. Zero tolerance. Stick to the subject. You bring up anybody else, your comment going to be de deleted and your ass going to be blocked. Because at the end of the day, I'm tired of playing a boomerang game and people trying to deflect. Oh, well, elite. No, 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 no. The Keith Thurman fight, that was two years ago. That was two years ago. I said on several occasions, if Manny Pacquiao wanted to take a soft touch on his way out, that was cool. But I meant with other welterweights. I understand Conor McGregor, but Ryan Garcia, a fight that we all know Ryan Garcia has no chance of winning. And then they gonna, they're they talking about making Ryan Garcia come up to 147. Um, Ryan Garcia going at what, three, three weight classes? Are you serious? He going to get smashed. And we all know it. He's going to get smashed. He's not ready. And he probably won't ever be ready. Okay. Like I said, Manny Pacquiao just name dropping. Like I said, he could have fought Crawford. He could have fought Crawford two years ago. Really three years ago. And he elected not to. Manny Pacquiao just throwing their names out there so people can he 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 kind of doing a little bit of what floyd doing he just throwing some names out there to keep people checking for him but if you fight ryan garcia and you fight him in september so when is you trying to fight errol spence what in december when you gonna be 43 so this ryan garcia fight not even gonna happen till like allegedly till like september maybe so you still talking about nine months from now. So what are you going to do in between then? So that's what I'm saying. As far as Ryan Garcia go, Ryan Garcia is, is full of shit. Ryan Garcia is a fraud. And I know people just impressed by this victory over Luke Campbell, but uh, Luke Campbell is Luke Campbell. I mean, Luke Campbell did his thing. He had some moments with Lomachenko, but there was a question of how good Lomachenko was actually. So let's just let's just keep it a buck. How can how can people sit up there and give Manny Pacquiao a pass for basically not fighting Terrence Crawford and not fighting fighting Errol Spence? He don't get near the criticism. That Bud gets. 
But like I said, that's why I'm going to keep calling these fake ass whole tip niggas out and these fake ass uh, nut hugging PBC uh, channels out. Um, I'm going to talk about the Sean Porter and, and Bud thing and what Sean Porter said. Because once again, this is a deflection blame. Now, see, let me let me on a side note. See this. Let me further expose these cornball ass niggas on these cornball ass content creators on YouTube. And that's why I don't fuck with them. Uh, they not welcome on my channel. And the people that believe that bullshit, you ain't welcome on my channel neither. Because at the end of the day, you niggas hollering about that Bud is trying to lowball Sean Porter. But at the same time, you okay with Errol Spence trying to lowball Bud? Uh, once again, what fight is Bud lost? One, once again, what who who is Bud lost to? Him being undefeated alone makes an argument for him getting fifty percent. And I don't want to hear about who he didn't fall because so these niggas try that shit all the time. Danny Garcia is a fucking nobody. And I'm just keeping it I'm just keeping it 100. His best wins with that lower weight classes. Danny Garcia don't resonate you being a cash cow. Like I said, Errol Spence can't even fucking knock Danny Garcia out. Since you want to go that route. I bet you Bud would have stopped him. <laughs> That's why Danny Garcia didn't want to fight him. Because he knew Bud was stopping him. Bud would have knocked Danny Garcia out. And I'm just keeping it 100. Kenny, that's my man. That's my homie and shit. But at the end of the day, Sean Porter, he do got three losses. He has three losses. And I'm not trying to tell them what type of money to take and none of that kind of shit. Like I said, y'all niggas don't even know what's going on behind the scenes. Y'all so clueless about what's going on. I know what's actually going on. But I, hey, I've been told not to say nothing right now. And, and you know, it's cool. But I had, I, I, I got to, you know, I just had to put that on the side note. Like I said, but these niggas give Manny Pacquiao a pass after pass for blatantly ducking Terrence Crawford. And blatantly ducking Errol Spence. But they but they trying to chop down the brother. Like I said, that's why I don't fuck with a lot of you niggas. Cause like I see y'all fake as fuck. Y'all fake y'all faker than a bitch with three titties. So, um, yeah. But anyway, let's get back to the Manny Pacquiao thing. That was just a side note. I love doing that to, to y'all. I want to keep giving y'all a reminder. Don't listen to none of these cornball ass niggas that don't go to fights. You know what I'm saying? That just it had a head up Al Heyman's ass like it's going out going out of style. So, you know, and it's quite a few. No particular person. You know, I'm the only one that's that has the, 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 the balls to call everybody out on their hypocrisy. And like I said, Bob Aaron full of shit too. Bob Aaron been playing games ever since the Faber, man. So, you know. But like I said, I know what's really going on behind the scenes. But for real, Manny Pacquiao is full of shit. As much as I respect Manny Pacquiao as a fighter, Manny Pacquiao is one of the best that ever did it. But at the same time, he be circling the wagon too and he be playing games and he be, be maneuvering too. Like I say, the same time you motherfuckers love to talk about everybody else and that's the fans of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao be cherry picking too. Keith Thurman was the weak link. Because we all knew Keith Thurman was in and out of surgery and Keith Thurman wasn't 100%. And Manny Pacquiao took advantage of it. Okay, cool. And then let's, let's not mention Manny Pacquiao's history of being suspected of doing something he didn't have no business doing. Now, technically, just like Barry Bonds. Just like Barry Bonds. Technically, Manny Pacquiao on record for from our knowledge... Yeah. We've heard things. Manny Pacquiao technically has never failed a drug test. But then again, Manny Pacquiao won't fucking take drug tests. So you can't fail nothing that you won't take. <laughs> so, I mean, so, so, cause we all know he didn't have no drug testing in the Keith Thurman fight. And we all know that there wasn't no drug testing in the Lucas Matisse fight. So, I mean, and we all know that there was questions about drug testing for the Adrian Broner fight. So, like I said, yeah, we can suspect all we want. But 
technically it is the truth. I mean, you can't fail what you don't take, right? <laughs> so, I mean, so, so, I'm just, I'm just keep, I'm just keep keeping it a buck. And like I said, you notice the media, they don't, like I said, you notice the media don't do, do what they supposed to do. And this is not just, just white media. You expect them to cover up and, and t- turn a blind eye to people that are not black. But then you got the black content creators doing this, sitting up here, s- sucking up to Canelo. And by the way, I'm finna cook Canelo's ass in the next video. But yeah, Manny Pacquiao, he full of shit. He could have been had these fights. He just don't want them because he doesn't believe he can win those fights. Manny Pacquiao do not want another Keith Thurman like fight. Keep in mind, um, I stand by what I said. I didn't give a fuck about Manny Pacquiao's uh, Filipino fans being mad at me for uh, saying that I thought Keith Thurman won the fight. A lot of people thought Keith Thurman won that fight. I don't give a fuck what Keith Thurman said post fight, you know. Keith Thurman got knocked down and he started to close the distance in the fight. There was only two rounds that Manny Pacquiao won decisively. The first and I think the eighth round where he hurt Keith Thurman with a body shot. But if you look at the other rounds, most of them, Keith Thurman outlanded Manny Pacquiao and was out outworking Manny Pacquiao. So you having two clear rounds that you won don't mean that you won the fight. Keep in mind, Manny Pacquiao won a split decision. People seem to forget that. Like I said, I don't be worried about Manny Pacquiao fan, boys. I don't. Just like I don't be worried about Errol Spence apologists and Al Heyman nuthuggers. But I do think Manny Pacquiao might be trying to play the PBC. That's just my own assessment. But, yeah, this had to be said, though, about Manny uh, Pacquiao, man. He, um... Manny Pacquiao playing game. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.